At first everyone wondered why I was doing this with an empty egg carton, but now everyone is doing it. Watch this video to find out what it's all about and why you should definitely give it a try. To do this you need an empty egg carton. In the second step you'll need some sawdust. You can also simply use wood wool or old nutshells for example. Anything that burns well can be used for this. Now fill the individual hollows of the egg packaging with it and press the whole thing down a little. If your egg packaging looks like this in the end, you've already done everything right. Now comes the second step. You will need candles for this. Ideally, you should simply use leftover candles. You can light them and let the wax drip into them. But it's even easier if you melt the wax in a pot on the stove beforehand. You can collect any leftover candles here, including leftover tea lights. Simply throw the wax into the pot and melt everything together. You will then have leftover candles that you would otherwise have simply thrown in the bin. Now make sure that there is roughly the same amount of wax in each well. We want the whole thing to be a little soaked at the end. However, it should not overflow with wax at the top. Once you have filled all the wells with wax, the next step is to wait until the wax has hardened before you can use it. So set it aside for at least an hour. After that, you can store it somewhere and take it out whenever you need it. Because if you need these parts now, you can always cut out one of these hollows or simply tear them out carefully. Because we have now created something from things that we would actually have thrown in the bin, namely barbecue or fireplace lighters. You can add one or more of these to your charcoal and then light them. Thanks to the combination of sawdust and wax, the whole thing burns for a really long time and is enough to light our barbecue charcoal. And as I said, the whole thing also works with any other fire you want to light, such as in a fireplace, in an oven or simply a campfire. And if you still want to know why you should stick a bandage to your fly swatter, then click on the video you see on the screen now, because I'll show you there.